Hi, my name is Mikhail Breslev, and today I'm going to be talking about our work titled 3D Pose Estimation of Bats in the Wild. This is work done with my colleagues at Boston University. So the motivation for our work is this idea that scientists would like to know more about bat flight and also uh, the group behavior of bats and the, the behavior of them in, in general. And so here I have a video that I took of a bat colony in Texas and you can see them flying. So you can see how dense it is and how many individuals there are doing different kinds of maneuvers. I'll play that once more. And so the idea is, is that we would like to uh, be able to know more about how they're flying it. And one way to do that is to be able to estimate uh, the 3D pose of any individual bat. So let me talk about the related work for uh, our work. And that includes past work that's used computer vision to uh, look at bats. Uh, so one piece of work uh, does segmentation and 3D tracking of bats. And in their work, they model bats as uh, points instead of 3D bodies. There has been more recent work where they do model bats as uh, 3D entities, and uh, they perform 3D pose estimation of the bats. But there are several limitations to that work, including uh, the fact that it requires markers to carefully be placed on different parts of the bat's body, and it also requires the bats to fly in uh, confined laboratory spaces. So we define a new problem where the goal is to automatically estimate uh, the 3D pose of bats without using markers, and this is in the wild, so we want to look at bats in their natural environment. And the input for this problem is multiple camera views, so videos from those cameras. And in our case, we use thermal infrared cameras. Uh, the, the contribution of our work is that we propose the first system for this novel problem, and it leverages both a 3D graphics model as well as a Markov random field to uh, basically set up an optimization problem and find a, a best solution. And in the end, we're able to get quantitative and qualitative results on some bad data sets. So in particular, you, you can see here, if we look at this row labeled C3, you can see uh, the input images of bats in, of, of, of the same individual bat over time. And we have the pose estimates on the row below. Uh, so you can see that the bat's body is oriented in a, in a similar way to the input, which is what is desired. Um, so for more information, come see poster number 13. And I'll be talking more about challenges as well as uh, system details and results. Thank you.